All right. So this is my 2022 KLR 650. So as we all know, fuel prices are going crazy, and buying a um, electric car of any sorts costs an awful lot of money compared to a, a say a base Civic or a base Toyota Corolla. So I thought, well, how do I spend the smallest amount possible and yet get awesome fuel economy for commuting back and forth to work and doing like little running that I need that I you know, need to do. Yeah, you know, we all have to run around. So I found this 2022 KLR 650 used with 300 miles on it. I bought it last Friday. Um, the guy spent about $2,800 on modifications. Um, and I know you can't just like you know, click and order a deal like this, but like maybe I was very, very lucky. But this has T-Rex upper guards, T-Rex lower guards, T-Rex skid plate, T-Rex center stand, um, Happy Trails uh, pannier racks, uh, Caribou 40 liter panniers on both sides. Um, he's got Pro Taper ADV Adventure high bars, the Pro Taper one and a quarter inch bar risers, a wireless cell phone charging phone mount that fits my uh, Galaxy S22 Plus. Um, we've got heated grips by Oxford, Oxford Premium heated grips. Um, now the heated grips aren't wired. I have he, he gave me the wiring for them. They're they're kind of bundled up like here and here. So I gotta I gotta strip the bike, pull the gas tank, and run back to the battery, which is like somewhere down in here. You see the battery tender plug? It's got a battery tender plug on it. So I got to run the wires for the heated grips, and I got to run the wires for the wireless charger. Um, it's got this is a base model, so it did not come with USB, but he added the factory Kawasaki USB port, two amp here, and then in place of the 12 volt cigarette lighter, added a. Let me see. Let me turn the key on here. Okay, so he's got a voltmeter and. I think you can see that, but Qualcomm, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 dual port USB A charge port right there. So I have three USB A ports, a two amp, and some Qualcomm ports. So I bought the bike last Friday with um, 351 miles, and 